Thank you so much to Mint Mobile, Lightstream, and Sleep Number for sponsoring this episode of the Smoshcast. When we were coming back from Australia, it's an overnight flight, I go to the bathroom, I start to just push the door open and it just slams back in my face. I thought the, the light lights. doesn't even come on until you lock. Yeah, they don't, they're in there pooping in the dark. I just suddenly see someone on a bicycle rolling by really slowly. Immediately I saw them and I was like, oh my God, that's my ex. I just really didn't like things that moved fast at my face. You know, when you're like laying down and playing with the baby and then the baby just like starts crawling at you. I'm just like, whoa, wait, wait, back up baby. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Pratt was really cool. He was really sweet. I forgot to smell him. That was like a lot of people's first question. What did he smell like? Oh, and guys are all weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, guys, I, I sliced my thumb open repeatedly last night. I was cleaning a cheese grater. Oh, And wow. like for some reason thought it was a good idea to like wipe off the cheese with my thumb, but I basically just like Grated, grated it by <laughs> Fun. That's so really like great. Little like scratch marks all across it. <laughs> so is the grater clean or are you, yeah, are you did still you... going to clean it? Like, is there still cheese in it? I stopped cleaning it after I cut my thumb and it's in my sink. I still have a lot of dishes to do. So I'll deal with it then and I will use a proper cleaning tool, not my hands. Cleaning a cheese grater is actually pretty tough because you end up just grating a sponge. Yeah. Like, and yeah. then you just, yeah. And yeah, you just get a bunch like, of sponge flakes. I don't like using a sponge. I like using the brush. I have yeah. rough hands. Like I have, I have man hands. <laughs> <laughs> rough hands. So, so like, are you, do you have soft hands? I feel like they would easily like get graded in. I think, I think I have, I actually think I have really soft hands despite the fact that I like, Lift weight. I don't wear gloves when I lift weights and I still have like soft hands. I don't know what the deal is. I'm like addicted to like I have a weird thing with my hands being dry after I wash my hands. So I, I'm always hitting that hand lotion. But I feel like my overall bone structure is masculine. Oh, yeah. Of my hands. Okay. All right. So we should probably I should probably enjoy the pod now. <laughs> we really got into this. OK, so welcome. We're, we're about to cast this pod. I am so ready. Um, we mm -hmm. have me, myself and I. No, just kidding. It's more than one person. <laughs> okay. It is t to the I. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, we got Shane Top here. We got Jackie. Wait, what? How do I say your last name? I messed this Uwe. up. Uwe. Uwe. I love that. Jackie, Jackie Uwe. Uwe. That's a dope Shane last Top, name. And Courtney Miller. Yeah, we're here chilling. You know, we're talking about cutting our thumbs and. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and for those of you listening, uh, I'm sure most of you probably do know, but Jackie's been in a lot of our sketches. You were in, I know you were in Eat It or Eat It. What, were you in any other pit, pit videos or? I think that's the only pit video I've okay. been in, and then so far, yeah, so far. But you've been you've been around so so, and you've been doing awesome work. You're hilarious, and so <laughs> we figured we'd let you come on to something uh, a little bit easier than eat it or eat it. Yeah, a little less Your painful. Your stomach is safe today. <laughs> yes, my, uh, my no. stomach is like no. trash. <laughs> yeah, psych. We actually uh, shipped a squid to your door. So if you could go <laughs> yeah. open it and You'd oh my eat God, that now. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably eat it though. Like right now in this like quarantine, I've been eating everything that's in my house. Like I'm going so hard about like not wasting food because I'm Good. like, you are blessed to have these beans. So if you send me a squid, like I'd probably chop it up, put it in some eggs. So, Ooh, yeah. squid eggs. Yeah. Squid oh. eggs, not too yeah, bad. So, so cute. tasty. See, I've been um, the opposite. I have like healthy stuff that doesn't go bad. Like I have just like a bunch of almonds that I'm not eating. Yeah. And like I have them there and I'll be like, man, I'm really hungry. A and then I just I have all these almonds, but I'd never touch them. And I'm like, yeah. ah, I'm going to Are they like, salted? They're, yeah. And that was the mistake. Because uh, yeah. I because I you know, when you're at the grocery <laughs> store and you're like, you know what? I'm going to do really good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have some unsalted raw almonds and I'm going to eat those and I'm going to be so healthy. And yeah. then you get home and you're looking at them. You're like, what the hell was I thinking? And you need like Ugh. seven or whatever to <laughs> like, it's like, oh, eat seven and it's one meal. And I'm like, when am I ever going to have seven almonds? Like, at one? <laughs> I <didn't know laughs> like what? I, I am not a squirrel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seven almonds. Seven almonds. Jeez. <laughs> I literally have been, what I've been doing mostly with them is when I go to the park to read every day, I put some in my pocket and I, the squirrels there, I like, I'll toss, I'll toss some to them. So cute. Like, what's up? Here you That's go. That's a very cute, wait, do you really go to the park every day and, and, and Yeah, and because if I don't, if I don't, like, I need a reason to go outside, but I need to like 
stay away from people still. So yeah. I go to the park. There's this bench that no one's ever at. It's this like open area. So I go there and sometimes I read. Sometimes I just like sit there and just just because I'm like, if I don't, I won't get sun and I'll yeah. just be inside. Wow. And then I lose my mind. I don't have a, I don't have a balcony or a patio or anything. So I can't believe Shane's becoming a crazy old lady. Mm-hmm. You are. That's, that's, so, that's so good for you. So <laughs> thank you. For thank you. you. Yeah. I just feed the pigeons and I'm waiting for Macaulay Culkin to get lost in New York and I will help him. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> um, for those watching, you will see and actually maybe don't even realize yet, but we are all wearing matching or not matching, but we're all wearing Smosh merch. That's right. We all are wearing Smosh merch. Shane's got the new floral sweat pant- sweatshirt on that has sweatpants to match. Ain't he cute? Wow. 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 So pretty. Whoa. <laughs> Shane, so you're so pretty, so pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Shane was just standing up, doing T poses, and kind of like twisting his body around. This this hoodie feels like a warm cloud. It's very comfy. Yeah. It uh, is. And I've got the pizza place hoodie on. We we now have a pizza place hoodie that is mm-hmm. a nice like khaki it's beige. A beige. That's beige. A color. The the so and then Jackie's wearing our classic tie dye smosh hoodie. Tie uh, Just an absolute win. Us. It is just- that one's. A very comfy, cozy one. That one's a little bit warmer. It is. I'm a little. I'm a little toasty. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, these new ones are like. I don't know. I feel like they're like a summer hoodie because they're super light and like fluffy. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I feel like I can wear this like to in the summertime and it's chilling. So we can, we can get one to you, Jackie, so you aren't super toasty yeah. all the time. I would love that. But yeah, they're on the Smosh Notes store right now. If you guys want to get them, so we're super excited. I I love I love this hoodie. It's very cute and the back. It's very nice. I'm turning around. Uh, when I wear mine, I blend in with my walls because uh, you see my my beige walls back here. Oh, uh, I was are... like, do you have floral wallpaper? <laughs> <laughs> I wish that'd be dope. Um, I feel like when I wear this, I feel like I'm very on trend. I feel like tie dye is having a moment or something. Dude, it totally know. is back. It's it is, totally it's back. back. And yeah, so it's been back. When I got this, I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> I yeah. Can- Ugh, I can hang out. Like, I'm a cool kid now, you know? <laughs> I don't know what the box. deal was, because tie-dye was, like, not in for yeah. a long time. They also time. were, like, they weren't doing it right for a long time. It was always those basic colors that, like, I don't really like that that green, that hard green and, and like, yellow and, like, and blue. It was just, like, nah. This is, yeah. they're getting creative with it. I love yeah, it. I, I like this, like, fun. soft. I don't normally buy, like, <laughs> this is gonna sound weird. I don't like to buy light colored clothes because I'm a sp- I'm gonna spill on them or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So like this, I've only worn this like once or twice so far because I'm just really s- nervous. I'm gonna get like pasta on it. <laughs> like, Dude, I I'm, I'm so- on. I totally know what you mean. I, I'm, that that I, makes like, sense. Yeah, I know what you mean. I I always, my instinct when I see something cute, I'm always like, okay, where is it in black? Because like that's just like the easiest color. Always matches everything. Like. And then the hides all the ketchup. Okay, so I'm really excited for this episode because normally we only do one shoot, dude, at the end of every episode. But today I begged and begged and we're going to do uh, an all out tons of shoot dudes the whole episode. We're going to be mm-hmm. reading fans or uh, fans, listeners, submitted stories of shoot dude moments. But yeah, we're going to read a bunch of them, react, feel feelings, talk about our yeah. feelings. Um, Just, you know, talk about our feelings. Yeah. yeah, let's talk about, I got a lot of feelings how to talk yeah. about some. I think then, everybody <laughs> has a lot of feelings <laughs> yeah. right Especially now. now. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God, we've all you been in- a smile to keep from crying. <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, this, the video, yeah. This, this video we posted recently, uh, how to go viral. I literally like, that was the, I had a mental breakdown that day. Like in full Dameron out like wardrobe. That was my breaking point of quarantine. I just, it had got too much, bro. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not alone and I'm better now. You're but. not, but yeah, you don't, you don't have to like have a, you're, you're not. not. You're not, you're not, not doing girl, better. You're, you're not. Look, I had my own little breakdown. Um, I just wasn't in like a full outfit and costume yeah. when it happened. <laughs> like trying to take yourself seriously. You're like, yeah. Oh, oh, but, oh. <laughs> Just in a I think way, I think it's like, gotten to the point everyone has like a mini breakdown every week. Like we've learned how to space out our breakdowns and like organize them. Be like, mm-hmm. okay, I'm free on Thursday mm-hmm. at about 3 p.m. 
Yes. So I'm going to just freak just out then. Let loose. Yeah. But yeah. I have a heart out at 4.30, so we just got to so like make we sure gotta, we get it started. Yeah. Got to make it quick. Um, guys, I got I to gotta freak out right now. Um, <laughs> yeah. okay, can we cut I, this? I hate crying, dude. I just It makes my face all puffy after. It feels good after sometimes. Like, because you know it when does. crying feels like a workout where it's like, ah. <sighs> Mm-hmm. You just like um, send out all of this like negative energy, and you're just like, yeah. okay, I'm good now. I I did it. Yeah. <sighs> Where are my grapes? Where are my grapes? <laughs> Where are my grapes? That's, that's always my first thought. <laughs> all right, I'm looking for a first Where episode, a first story. Um, Where are my grapes? <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you guys something I did last night? Yes. <laughs> so- <laughs> <laughs> so, so speaking of grapes, oh, I think I was watching. I was watching YouTube, and these creators were like, "Wait, re- they're the Ribka twins." I was watching the Ribka twins. <laughs> I never heard the of Ribka these. twins. You've never heard of the Ribka twins? Okay, no. So they're um these two. They're these two twins, and they they're from Australia, and they do acro and like gymnastics and tumbling and all this stuff. Oh, dope. And, and one on one video, they're like, "Wait, really?" I can't do an Australian. I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> we. <laughs> I'm an Aussie. Nope. <laughs> wow. It's fine. We've we've butchered. We just got back from Australia and we butchered Australian <laughs> accents the entire time we were there. Mm-hmm. I just like my accents are just literal trash. But they were just basically saying like, oh, for summer, we like to have frozen grapes. And I was like, I can't. It's summer over here. I'm going to make frozen grapes. So I made frozen grapes last night and I really enjoyed eating them. Like, Mm -hmm. I just, it was a good time. So that's, uh, after I cried, I had some frozen grapes. Cry and get some frozen grapes, dude. That's a good way. Did you, okay, I heard this random story that if you're feeling depressed or sad, if you eat an orange in the shower, it'll make you feel better for for a little while. If you're just having a bad day, you mean? Like, just. I I mean, the the article I read was Uh said, use the word depressed or sad. Right, right. Um, But, so that's just what I read. Like, if you're just in a bad mood, I could see that changing around. Or like, if you're like, if if you were like me, like having a mental breakdown and crying, if I had eaten an orange in the shower, Apparently, it helps you feel better. I could eating see, an orange I, while showering. You know why I believe that is because it. If you're just having a bad day, if you're just kind of like off track for a for or even a week, that's just such a weird thing to do that it's gonna just kind of like just break the wheel. You're just gonna like be sitting there, be like, "What the hell am I doing?" And then you're gonna like be out of your head for a second. Yeah, yeah, and then just kind of laugh. Just like um, yeah, the orange. And do you peel the orange before you get in the? Sh- I mean, I that's what I think about because I have a hard time peeling oranges. I, yeah. I ate an orange yesterday for the first time in a while, and it, peeling it was a nightmare. And I ended up just with a heap of just garbage. No, <laughs> I used to when I was a kid. My my mom's house had this big orange tree, and there was small rocks all over the ground. And I would pick a good, big old orange, and I'd use one of the sharper rocks. I'd pretend Ooh. I was like I was like a nature child, and I would use the rock to like break it in half. And then I just eat it like that. Just Wait. cut them in half and eat them like that. Wait, uh, sorry. While we're, since we're talking about fruit, I, I, I'm going to have an ongoing <laughs> thing. I'm going to have an ongoing thing on this podcast. I'm going to start it now because I started it on Twitter. Jackie, what is, in your opinion, the best kind of apple? If you had to choose, you can only eat one type of apple for the rest of your life. Like, Red, uh, I'll start there. <laughs> like the Granny Smith? Just like, yeah. uh, or wait the... a second. Um, yeah. Is it? Because there's those is ones it... that are like reddish with like a little bit of yellow. Which there's, a lot of there's a lot yes. of different okay. types. There's a lot of different types. Okay, well, let me start. It would be a red apple. It wouldn't be green. I'm not trying to. <sighs> like the little, the, the, the red, like, like that one. I love those too. Like I, the red, but not the small ones you got with the school lunches that were covered oh, in wax yeah, s- s- and no. were like never actually ripe because no. there were like so many preserved. You know what I'm saying? Like not those. Okay, ones, that's but fair. I don't like a sour apple. So like a nice, sweet, maybe not like a maybe not a full red apple, like a like a <laughs> like a like a. Like a Pinky, I have some pinky red kind of apple. You know what I'm saying? Wait, okay, I have some. Okay. I have some. In my I, I think I know what you're talking about. Okay. All right, okay. fair, fair. Look, okay. all, all I'm saying, I, I am campaigning that Granny Smith apples are definitively the best kind of apple. I can't remember which that's, they look like. That's at. all I'm going for. That's the green. Green apples are Granny Smith. Uh, no, no, uh, they're that, too tart. They're so no, they're the best. Uh, they're the best. But With peanut no. butter, maybe. Okay, we Listen, need to start these shoot Yes, <laughs> sorry, sorry. But let us know in the comments of the video <laughs> version of this, and just let us know what apple you stand. We, we, the, the apple wars of 2020 are beginning. Okay. No. Everyone right. must pick a okay, side. Okay, fine, okay. 
Howdy gang! If you're still using one of those big wireless providers this year, have you asked yourself what you're paying for? Between expensive retail stores, inflated prices, and hidden fees, you're being taken advantage of because they know you'll pay. Enter Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile provides the same premium network coverage you're used to, but at a fraction of the cost because everything is online. Mint Mobile saves on retail locations and overhead, then passes those savings directly to you. Mint Mobile's new approach to wireless is a thing of the future. The future is now. They're ahead of the game, the game of mobile. Mint Mobile makes it easy to cut your wireless bill down to just 15 bucks a month. And every plan comes with unlimited nationwide talk and text. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash smosh. That's mintmobile.com slash smosh. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash smosh. A healthy lifestyle should be easy, right? Eat veggies, drink green smoothies, exercise to get your heart rate up, and do yoga to bring the heart rate down. You know the freaking vibes but it's actually not easy, it's not. But there is something that improves everything and you can do it with your eyes closed, literally. It's sleep. Duh. Sleep Number knows what it takes to sleep your best. The Sleep Number 360 smart bed lets you choose your ideal firmness, comfort, and support on each side. Your personal Sleep Number setting. It's the perfect solution for couples. <laughs> I wish I knew what that was like. These beds are so smart and they respond to your every move and automatically adjust to keep you sleeping comfortably all night. Proven quality sleep is a life-changing sleep, guys. And now for a limited time during the Memorial Day sale, save $1,000 on the new Sleep Number Special Edition Smart Bed, a queen. Now only $1,799. You'll only find Sleep Number at Sleep Number stores or by visiting www.sleepnumber.com. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready for the first shoot, dude? Yes. yes. And then if it ever sparks a shoot dude memory that you have, Jackie or Shane, please step of in. Of course, of course. Shoot dude. 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 Okay, so this first one is from Amber. One night when my dad wasn't home, I went into his closet to look for one of my shirts thinking he accidentally took it only to open the door to see this pink sheet dropped over something. It took my brain approximately 1.2 seconds to realize that what the sheet was covering had the outline of a human body. So, of course, I ran. My first thought was, oh my, OMG, my dad killed somebody and stuffed them under a pink sheet in his closet, only to come back after I calmed down and realized the body was made of rubber. I had accidentally found my dad's sex doll. I closed the door and never spoke of it until now. Oh. <laughs> Shoot, Shoot. Dude. Amber, Dude. no. Oh, that's that's. Oh my god. That's rough. Oh, that's, yeah, that's not no. okay. And uh, it's also a creep. <laughs> that's also like I don't know. That's a creepy way to like have it in storage. Have just a sheet over it. Yeah. But how else like, would you like my it? bride? My bride. Her veil. How else do you store a sex doll? I mean, there's really not like a, a rubber one. Yeah, yeah, there's really like no good way. There's no one. good way, but that to me seems like the worst way. Like I the have only a question though, because mm -hmm. she, she, so in the beginning she said, I went into my dad's closet because I thought he had my shirt. And I'm like, is your dad wearing You're Amber's right. clothes? Yeah, or, I mean, is, I mean, I wear like a Amber's lot of oversized t-shirts. You know, whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's a rough. Ooh. No, no, no. Is that too far? I, that's that's it's scary not, as hell. It's not technically my too head, far. My head to like try and make sense of the situation was like, oh, she wears uh, like oversized T-shirts. And so maybe her dad accidentally took her oversized T-shirt. So that that's a possibility. And also, unfortunately, Jackie, that is a possibility. But what I think because we've had other shoot dudes where someone's like, oh, I happen to be looking through this drawer of uh, this yeah. person's room. I think maybe Amber was just snooping around. Like, okay. she okay. doesn't want to say like, oh, I was looking through my dad's stuff what or through my parents' stuff. What kid snoop around yeah. their oldest yeah, siblings kids, or Yeah, kids do that. So she can't, just, she can't just say, oh, I was looking through my dad's closet. But it's and possible. Maybe, and she might have already been like, Get like might have glimpsed something in the closet once mm -hmm. and was like, was wait, like, so I'm gonna go look that? and see what the, yeah, with binoculars from yeah. 
I've never found anything like that in my parents' closet. I never, I never snooped never in my looked. parents' stuff because friends told me about stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I used to hide my mom's closet. She had this gold purse that was like that loose metal sequiny chain pattern. Yeah, and I would hide in her closet and just touch the purse. And then my dad keeps. Like, cause you know, I grew up Mormon. So my dad kept all like the PG-13 rated R DVDs in the closet, oh. <laughs> which were like, they weren't even bad movies. It was like Groundhog Day and like stuff like that. <laughs> that's funny. Um, but God. Oh, that's rough. That's really rough. That's like a line you just don't want to cross with your parents. Like, Adam, like, cool. No. I don't want to know. I just don't want to know. Like, that's, oh man. And especially if you're still that. living, it's possible she was like, she's like pretty young. Yeah. So like that's just rough to be at that age and finding out. Oh, yeah, it's awful. Don't want it. Don't need it. That's yeah, a shoot, that's, dude. That's that that's the. Shoot, dude. I can't really finding a dead body would be the only thing worse. I would almost like, no. I was gonna say I would almost prefer to find a dead body than a sex doll. But you know, because then I'd rather my dad be a serial killer than yeah. just have a sex doll. Uh, yeah. Do you want to read the next one, Shane? Okay, I just picked a random one. Uh, this is a short one because I figure we can do a bunch in this episode. Who's it from? Uh, it's from Parav. Oh, I believe Rav. that's P U R A V. They wrote, uh, when my girlfriend and I were 15, her mom walked in on us redressing after sex. She said nothing, closed the door, and left. My girlfriend was too embarrassed to go downstairs, so I went downstairs instead. And all I could say when I saw her mom was, I don't know what you thought we were doing, but it wasn't sex. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> is that it? That's it. Oh my god! I want to know the rest. <laughs> I don't know what you think we were doing, but it definitely wasn't, it wasn't. sex. Just oh to put your mind at ease, it was not sex. No sex was being had. Uh, pardon me, Madame. Uh, whatever you saw back there yeah. was certainly not intercourse. Milady, Milady, twas not the sex. <laughs> twas not the sex I was having oh, with your daughter. No. <laughs> no. That's a shoot, not. dude, but like, that's a shoot, dude, because dude, don't say that. Shoot, yeah. don't yeah. say that. I've, I've never even come close to anything like that, I don't think. Like oh no, my God. I don't. Like I I didn't because uh, I didn't because I was a virgin when I was a teenager, Aww. so that was not <laughs> happening. So uh, you have but I also I probably that, that would have been me. Like if that happened, I oh, would have probably been like, we control. weren't. We definitely weren't having <laughs> sex. <laughs> uh, she. That's actually messed up. That. The daughter of her, like, that's her parents. She refused to go downstairs, but the boyfriend had the balls to go downstairs and face the parents. So kudos to the boyfriend. Because, like, that's tough. Like, that's, trying having the courage a, to go down man. and try and make things better for... <laughs> but, like, that girl should have, man, like, nut up. And, yeah, like, nut up. Or and ove go, up. Yeah, yeah ove, ove up. up. Ooh, I like that. Ove I like up. That. Ove, ove up, up is my Literally favorite saying. Ove up. Ove up. Oh, up, girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, we definitely weren't having sex. Twas not the sex, at all. madame. All right, let's do this long one. This one's from Danny. This ha Ooh, it's an Australian one. This happened a few years ago in Australia where I live. I used to work at Night Market in Brisbane and sometimes had a few creeps try to follow me home. So my dad bought me a flick knife. Highly illegal in the Australian continent. In case I, if if I ever had to bluff my way out of a situation, it was actually a light. It was actually lighter in the shape. It was a, it was a lighter. Like it was, it was a. Are yeah. you reading it? Uh, I'm looking at it too. Don't at the same time. don't. What? Okay, I'm sorry. No, I don't want you to. <laughs> but it was a. Ahead. It was, it was actually a lighter. a lighter in the shape of a grenade that had a hidden blade flick out that when you pressed a button. So it not only <laughs> looked like a grenade, but it was also a knife. It just lived in the bottom of my bag and I kind of forgot about it. I'd applied for a job for security at the airport and went for a group interview. Of course, they took us out to the back to show us how it all worked. And we too had to put our bags through the x-rays. Lo and behold, they find the knife, which I had totally forgotten about because I was so nervous. They had to call the police and I was arrested and the court date set. I should have been charged with having a weapon in, in a sterile environment, which is a Commonwealth offense, the worst kind. And being from New Zealand, I could have been deported or at least gone to jail. Oh, my God. <laughs> Luckily, because I was cooperating with the police and obviously didn't plan to bring a knife to a job interview for security at an airport, 
They just charged me with having a weapon in public. Went to my court date and they took people in in groups. My judge was basically a judge duty, a very severe older lady, and I was last. Everyone who went before me got her full wrath and I was sure she was going to destroy me. I go, I got up there and she just goes, oh, you must be so embarrassed because she saw how ridiculous the situation was. She let me off with a good behavior bond, not even a fine. Needless to say, I didn't get the job, though they said I interviewed really well and I would have gotten it. Can't ever get a security license now, though. Aw, still to this day, telling this story makes me want to crawl into a hole and die. Shoot, dude. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. That sucks. That's like, that always happens with like, dude, purses have weird juju, okay? Oh, yeah. Because like, when I switch a purse, for some reason, I forget the one thing in like a purse that I always, like that I always need. Like, there's always some crap going wrong with purses have you ever gotten stopped and searched at the airport or anything like when my bag goes through the scanner or like or like randomly selected like your bag goes through and then you get pulled to the side and yeah you go okay. through all your stuff yeah i have and they have to that. go through every Everything. single thing dude yeah. you know what's you know what's weird and I, I think he has no problem with me saying this damien gets randomly selected every single time and i mean oh. And he's he not random. And he yeah. and he told me this. He told me this once, and I was like, okay, maybe you get you've gotten selected a couple times, and you're going, you're exaggerating here. And then every time we flew, and we flew in Australia, we've flown on tour. He had gotten randomly selected every time, <laughs> and I've Why? never been. I've, I've never, I've never been randomly selected. Damien got randomly selected every single time, and in general, you know, Damien and I look the <laughs> exact same. We're both just like twenty late twenties white dudes. But he gets randomly selected <laughs> every time. And I was is like, Is it his name? Like, I'm wondering if there's cost? just like some sort of algorithm with like your last name or like, I don't know. There, But like know. clearly, clearly he's getting selected. That's clearly. so weird. I don't know. He, he can talk about it, whatever. I, I don't think he has any problem with me saying that. But uh, but yeah. That's it's so weird. That's, have, that's I think I've strange. been like once and they just did like the hand wipe. For the for that randomly selected yeah. thing. Yeah. But yeah, dude, it sucks when they go through your bag. It really sucks. I'm pretty good about it because my dad's a pilot, so I knew I've always known like exactly how to avoid it, and I'm pretty intense about yeah. just not having anything that even resembles yeah. anything. Yeah, I was flying to Vegas for my birthday. On my so it was like my 25th birthday. I was super excited, and I I was flying out of LAX. I was running late. <laughs> <laughs> I was already running oh. late. And I had the bag. I had two bags. I had one bag with just like my stuff in it. And I had another bag that had all of the snacks in it. And so I have this huge duffel bag of just like Cheetos and Edo. Like all of the Edos were in this bag. <laughs> and I don't know what else was Hell in the yeah. bag. Like I think. I don't know what else was in the bag, but I got stopped and I was like, I don't have anything. I think, yeah, because I fly with lotion, but I always check it. I don't know. Basically, yeah. they stopped me. They went through, they tested everything in my bag and it made me like super late to my flight. And so then I'm running over, I'm running and I'm freaking out because it's my birthday. And I'm like, I was supposed to fly in early because I was supposed to set up, set up the room. I was supposed to set up the room. I had the streamers in the bag. Like I was Aww. really excited. Aww. And then in the process of them searching my bag, I misplaced my driver's license and my boarding pass. Aww. So then I, yeah, I got stuck at the, I, I, I just could not find it in time. And so I was on the standby list and then they kept bumping me off of the list. Oh. Oh. It was, and I, so then I just like sat in a corridor and cried for a moment. Oh. <laughs> Did you, but you eventually, you eventually, eventually made it. Eventually I made it. And I was just, I was just so, I was just so bummed because I live on, <laughs> I was like, let me not like expose <laughs> Yeah, try I'm not at. to dox yourself. Let me not do that. Uh, <laughs> I live a fair distance away from the LAX. <laughs> I mean, yeah. who, who, who doesn't but, like, live? Everybody oh, does. it's always there. It's track. impossible to live close to LAX. Like it's, yeah. it's, even if you live, even if you live a mile away from LAX, you live forever away from LAX. Yeah. It's so hard to get to. Yeah, so I just was like, I was already up super. It was just a mess. It that's a, a shoot, dude. But it's fine. That's a yeah. that's, that's a shoot, dude. Shoot dude Jack. That's a, a little that's shoot, a, dude. That's a little yeah. shoot, dude. I feel I, uh, bad for this guy too because it's like criminal offenses that are being brought up against him. 
Yeah. yeah, this that sucks. And I like the I love the situation. I'm just like, no, 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 no. It's not a grenade. It's just a knife. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, relax. Oh my I can't God. kill I, that many people with it. I don't know if you remember this, Shane, but whenever we flew to Sacramento, I used to have this keychain that was brass knuckles, but it was literally, I'm holding my oh, hand up and put it, I'm touching my finger. Like my a thumb. pin, pin size. It was literally like a, like a two year old or like a baby couldn't fit their hand into this yeah. brass knuckles. It was so small. And yet I would get stopped and, pe- and TSA would be like, what is this? I'm like, it's a keychain. Like, you can't have this. I'm like, how, how can I hurt somebody? If you trained a I small hurt, monkey worse, to yeah. use this, you could take over a plane. I could hurt more people with my actual <laughs> keys than yeah. this little keychain. I also once had to, I was trying to fly to Utah to see my mom. She doesn't live there anymore. I was waiting at my gate and I had my headphones in and I was playing a uh, balloon, da- balloon tower defense. You guys nice. know that game? Yeah, yeah, Love yeah. It. It's like where you pop balloons and it's just like monkeys yeah, popping yeah. balloons. It's awesome. Okay. Um, and I was so into it that I missed on the intercom that my gate changed. Uh, and I missed my flight. It was a late night flight, the last one of the evening. Uh, and I had taken my dad's giant ass Toyota truck, which took, it had to, I had to park it at a different lot, get shuttled to the airport. It, it's Southwest, so luckily they'll like, just like, oh, just get on this next flight and don't even worry about it. But it was like, okay, you're gonna go on the 5 a.m. flight. And I like was like, dude, I don't even, I feel like going back home. So like I ended up just <laughs> staying home, or no, not staying home, staying in the airport, like outside, like, on, like near the staircase and there was like one other person there is so eerie just like uh. waiting there overnight i spent most of it watching videos on the history and storyline of the legend of zelda saga <laughs> that's not um, too bad that's I not mean, too bad so at least that's got important information I, yeah. I remember i remember getting stuck at the airport when i was a kid there was one time where my mom and i were stuck in the airport from like 7 a.m until midnight that night oh. um at the albuquerque airport which is actually a nice airport but Back then, all I had was a Game Boy Advance. Those batteries. Yeah, and and also just like you would play a game for a little bit, but back then, like you just you just kind of got bored of that, and then you just didn't have anything else. Yeah. And I didn't have a phone. I did not have anything. I didn't yeah, have a way to dude. watch stuff. I. It's weird because that feels like it's the medieval ages now, but right. <laughs> Cause yeah. now getting getting stuck at an airport isn't as bad now. Like, I don't know. Cause I'll bring like a Kindle and a switch and my phone. I have ways to watch just endless stuff. Yeah. But back then. You definitely can so. occupy yourself more for sure. Yeah. You have like your one book you got from the library. And you're like, do I spend it? Do I read yeah. it all now? Or do I, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Do I save the story? Yeah. yeah, dude, yeah. Oh my gosh. You can't go too hard. Guys, I just finished paying off my car and I'm so excited, but something I realized is I was paying a lot of interest and it made me pretty upset. Are you guys paying more money in interest than you need to on your credit cards? You can refinance your debt today with a credit card consolidation loan from Lightstream. Quickly roll balances from multiple credit cards into one single monthly loan payment. You can get a rate as low as 5.95% APR with auto pay. That's much lower than the national average credit card rate of over 19% APR. Plus there's absolutely no fees. Here's a testimonial from a Lightstream client. They said, I heard about Lightstream on a podcast and was able to look on the website and get clear information. The application process was quick and easy. Apply today to get a special interest rate discount and save even more. The only way to get this discount is to go to lightstream.com slash smosh. That's L-I-G-H-T-S-C-R-E-A-M.com slash smosh. Subject to credit approval. Rate includes 0.5% auto pay discount. Terms and conditions apply and offers are subject to change without notice. Visit livestream.com slash mosh for more info. Let's All see. Right. Uh, yeah, you want to do another one? I can read one if you want. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know yeah, you had to read it. All right. This one is from Jenna. I was with my cousins and we decided to order pizza. I had remembered that I had the number of a pizza place in my phone because a few days ago I had a party when my parents were away and my friends ordered pizza in my phone. I called the number. <laughs> Sorry. So we were reading. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> I called the number and ordered the pizza. The person took my order but didn't ask for my address. So I called back about seven times until I realized that the number belonged to the dad of a boy who I liked at the time. And 
<laughs> and had called his dad on my phone on the night of the party. I was so embarrassed, but it was made worse when I saw him at my friend's house that weekend. He asked me why I called his dad eight times and ordered pizza from him and exposed in front of all our friends who continue to make fun of me for it. Oh my god. Shoot so I guess wait, that's a shoot dude. So she was set up. Am I am I misunderstanding that like someone put that under in her phone? I think maybe it was like in her recent calls or something. Yeah. The phone oh. number. But why would the dad Okay, this is my question. She calls this number. Hi, I'd like to order a pizza for delivery. And this dad is like, okay. And then he, she orders a pizza and he's like, okay. And hangs yeah. up. Why would yeah, he Yeah, she do went that? through a whole pizza order and thought it was a pizza place and hung yeah. up. Which means the dad played along? <laughs> Maybe mm-hmm. he thought he was being prank called. I don't know. Uh, that's, that's actually possible. Yeah. Did he pick up? I want to know if he picked up after, like, does he pick up every time? Yeah. Also, yeah. He just says hello. He doesn't go like Poppy's Pizza. At, at no yeah. point did he say stop calling. This isn't a pizza place. Like, yeah. yeah what a I weird I don't know. The, dad, the dad's weird. The dad's weird in this. The dad's the weird Yeah. Part. He's the, the dad's shoot weird. dude. Um, have you guys ever prank called somebody? Uh, I don't like pranks. You don't like pranks I, at all. Like pranks. I mean, I knew do I really, but like I don't. I cannot get down with pranks because I just feel like I feel like they go into meat. There's a fine line between a prank being really good and mm-hmm. then a prank getting mean spirited, and then the mm-hmm. prank only being like good for the person that pulled the prank. I used to work at an advertising agency, so we were like making moves, making deals. <laughs> You were Don Draper. (laughs) I was Don Draper, right? (laughs) And my team used to really love pranks, but it would be like my boss was the one that really liked to do the pranks and I was an assistant. So it's like, it's just, it's also like a mind game when your boss is pranking you because you're like, I can't go as hard. I can never go as hard as you're trying to come for me. Like you're trying to come for me, but like I'm trying to keep this job. Oh my you know, god, so. like what kind of pranks? Like, haha, put your stapler in jello. It would be like, like <laughs> it was like they'd flip your screen or they would like hide under your desk for like hours until you came back. <laughs> so you would scream, or they would like we all had nerf guns, so we would like shoot people with nerf guns and all of this stuff. And yeah, Gosh. It, I was always like, just don't prank me, just don't prank me, and I won't prank you. So that was it's good you're putting this out there now. Uh yeah, because being done in it being pranks. in the Smosh universe, uh, getting pranked is a possibility we used to do it a lot more i have been at the unfortunate end of getting pranked um a quite lot. a few times yeah yeah quite a, quite a few times uh there was one time where i got pranked literally twice in in like the span of one week oh gosh yeah it was pretty brutal <laughs> what was twice in the week well so for one i i thought we were gonna have logan lerman on you posted that and <gasps> then i we were literally on <laughs> i know isn't he cute he literally like <laughs> I saw him that day. I, he was like around our yeah, office. Yeah, he did like, visit. Oh, he's, so he's going to be, he's gonna be here. We're about to film and we start filming and I, I'm like kind of just one of the side people there, uh, audience member. And then they're like, yeah, and our next contestant is Shane. And I was like, what? And I didn't know. <laughs> and the whole point of the show was them to find embarrassing tweets of mine. And so they put me on the spot. Uh, and then the other one was, uh, I thought we were going to, I was going to be doing a thing where Ian was going to be interviewing John Boyega while I like <gasps> uh, put like whispered know, stuff right? in the his, talent. like while the I was talent. on a mic in a different building saying sh- to him. Yeah. You were that, like that in, in his, you were supposed to be, I was in, supposed his to be ear. In, in his, in his ear, okay, making yeah, him yeah. say awful stuff. Well, it turns out I was then we get there and they're like, hey, Shane, get in this kaiju suit, this dumb, this dumb Godzilla like dinosaur, looking thing. Godzilla, yeah. yeah, dinosaur outfit. And you're going to go in front of John Boyega while Ian tells you to do it. And I was like, oh, what? And it was <laughs> insane. But oh luckily, John God. Boyega was the coolest. Yeah, he's so. a he's got a great uh, attitude. That's that's husband. So I've gotten pranked like that, but also they got everyone threw me a surprise college graduation. So they've also oh done wholesome gosh. pranks. Yeah. So yeah, it's tough. It's been good. very balanced out. When I watched that video, I like, honestly, I started crying a little bit and I was like, and I really didn't even know you like that, Shane. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> but I watched that video and I was just like, it's just like these people, like, this is a family. Like they've all watched him on this journey and they're just like <laughs> wanting to celebrate him. I was just like, what a beautiful connection he's made over these years and they're so supportive and it's just like this is this is beautiful (laughs) oh yeah it's it's definitely like it's definitely like number one experience it's very cool it is so cool yeah i feel like the opposite of a shoot dude yeah yeah 
My, oh God, my my worst prank. Okay, obviously recently got like pranked in a haunted house yes. around Halloween last year. Yeah. That feels like yesterday. But then the, the one, I can't even tell if it's like a good prank or like, or it's like a wholesome prank or a, it's a shoot dude, honestly, is what it is, was when they surprised me with Chris Pratt on you posted that. Yeah. And yeah. that, that dude, and they, they read my tweets <sighs> talking about, Getting sexy with Star Lord, like dude, <laughs> yeah. while Groot watched, like yeah. God, so bad. But so Chris, bad. Chris Pratt was really cool. Yeah, he uh, was. He was really sweet. He called me sweetheart at the end uh, and like <laughs> gave me a hug. I forgot to smell him. Jesus um, missed opportunity. <laughs> uh, I didn't. I forgot get, to like, smell John Boyega. Because oh. <laughs> people, that was like a lot of people's first question when I told when they like wanted to know about the experience. Like, what did he smell like? Okay. Like, oh, like, and guys are all weird. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Like, did you smell his armpit or what? <laughs> yeah. I don't care about his personality. What did he smell like? It was bo, but like it was hot bo, you know. Um, yes. Yeah. No, that was that was interesting. And then but I did and his then neck I smell him. different than his arms. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, pranks Weird. are crazy though. Yeah, so it's good to good to know. The wholesome pranks are my favorite too. Like yeah. the the graduation was a good good old time. I could probably get down with like a wholesome prank or like. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I think the timing is what it is. I'm just like, if you could just. This is not a good time. This is not a good time for me to be pranked. My mental state is not great. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. All right. I'm looking for the next one. Um. Okay. I actually. I wait. Could, yeah. Go I, for it. Go for yeah, it. Yeah. I found one. It's pretty good, but it reminds me of of something. Well, she wouldn't read ahead, boy. I. What? what? Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll pick, I can pick a different one then. No, just do it. Just do okay, it. It's okay. still there. So. so this is from uh, Raiden, uh, R-E-I-D-U-N. Uh, I think it's Raiden, which is a dope name. I was like eight or nine and at my grandma's house. Some of her friends were there too with a dog. At the time, I was terrified of dogs because of a previous accident. So I just sat still and watched TV. However, the dog, a medium-sized one, started to bark at me. I got scared and figured I could lock myself in the bathroom. When I ran and opened the door, my grandma's friend was on the toilet and had not locked the door. I was so embarrassed and scared, so I ran to my grandma and cried. Aww. That's a that's a shoot, dude. Um, but it reminds me, it was when Damien and I were flying back from Japan last year. I was on the flight. It was like, this is like at 2 a.m. And we're, because uh, we're on a, you know, overnight flight. And I go to the bathroom, I open the door, and there's just this old woman on the toilet, and she just immediately slams the door back in my face. <gasps> oh <laughs> so, my God. I was like, no. oh, oh, shoot, dude. <laughs> shoot, dude. <laughs> oh, shoot, dude. Um, oh, shoot, dude. Sorry, sorry. Pretty. <laughs> Are you? Oh, shoot. Dude. Shoot, dude. Shoot, dude. Shoot, dude. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. You're shooting. And then oh, when, shoot. we were, when we were coming back from Australia, it's same thing. It's an overnight flight. I go to the bathroom. I start to just push the door open and it just slams back in my <gasps> face. And I'm I didn't like, know that happened. Lock the door. Oh, God. On a flight. <laughs> lock the door. I thought the, the light lights. doesn't even come on until you lock. Yeah, they don't. They're in there pooping in the dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pooping in the dark. Why are you pooping in the dark? Are you a poop vampire? <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm not the weird one here. <laughs> a poopy vampire. What are you? It's Edward not me. Poopin? It's not me. <laughs> They're oh hanging my, upside I mean, it is kind of calming, though. Poop just falling, <laughs> falling down their back. Oh, God. <sighs> it's so hard to wash your back, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Washing your back is tough. Wow. Oh I can never understand. Like, I guess like, you can eat, like... I cannot comprehend a fear of dogs. I I understand it. Um, yeah, yeah. Me either. I don't were, get it either. <laughs> are you scared? Are you scared of dogs? Have you had a scary experience? I, mean... I get it, man. If dogs if dogs <laughs> lash out, it's it's scary. I fully understand. I've, okay, I've never had any pets, right? And I've okay. never had any pets. Um, I have a like like for a long time. I've been working really hard on it. For a long time, I just really didn't like things that moved fast at my I, face or like towards me. So that's like, fair. you know, when you're like laying down and playing with the baby and then the baby's just like, 
starts crawling at you, like that, yeah, or the like, like jolt, like yeah, you're just like whoa, like hey, back up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we don't know each other like that, baby. Like you're brand new, okay? Uh, <laughs> I think you're new to this whole new. life thing, man. You need to back up. Yeah, you need to back the <laughs> f- up. <laughs> uh, it's kind of the same thing with dogs, and even like when cats move, like very, like, like very quickly. That freaks yeah. me out. But I'm more so. I get I get freaked out when there are big dogs and they're excited. Oh um, yeah, they don't. They're like unaware of their size. Oh, they and, just, they just will start tackle like you. they just like start like running in circles and stuff. And their energy starts like they're just really hype. And then like my energy starts to like get like oh, oh, oh I don't know what are we about to do, guys. What are we about to do? Oh, there's one time my friend's dog started barking and it freaked me out so bad that I literally just jumped onto the island and like that's like a very. <laughs> Yeah, that's and intense. You got that's hopped. some. Just that's like some. That's some jump. Looney. That's a Looney Tunes reaction there. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 <laughs> you scoobied. You scoobied into Shaggy's arms. Yeah. Just, yes. Aww. I've gotten a lot better though. Um, I'm good with like medium size and below, and that's really fine. old dogs with like cataracts. Like those are my. Those I are love my old dogs. Old dogs that like can hardly move or anything, mm-hmm. but they're still they're still excited. Yeah. So you just see their tail wagging a little bit. Yeah. I love, I love them. Super I'm calm. I'm so unfazed yeah. by, I think it's cause like my first dog from, cause I, we had one when I was a baby, but I don't remember it. But when I was in high school, we had this dog. She was huge, but she was really patient, but also like had um like, she would throw tantrums and stuff. And I got used to like wrestling down a big dog when they were having tantrums. And then Miel um, from Vine and like she used to date Anthony and stuff, her and I were really close friends. And she had this rescue chihuahua that would just randomly like get rabid and just start like attacking your hand. But like, I got to the point where I was so like, I would just like put my hand in his face and be like, stop biting my hand. Like, I didn't even care. Like I, it was just, it didn't bother me at all. I, I like, love, I it. love, I love big dogs that I can wrestle. I just love it. <laughs> I just love taking Jango them down. Jango loved playing with you. You're, you're great. You're a great dog babysitter. I just, I love, uh, dude, my dogs growing up, they were Australian Shepherds, but they were huge. They were like 80 pounds. Oh, they, they had like, they, they came from a family, like a, uh, like a family of, of Australian Shepherds that were just lo- like twice the size of oh they Oh my God. Been. But I loved just like, just like tackling yeah. them. Like that's all I wanted to do. I love yeah, it. Dude. Love it so much. Um, I wish I could have a dog, man, but I live in such a small place and I'm. Yeah. Outside of quarantine, I'm never yeah. home. So I, I'm my brain. I'm constantly at war with like, okay, maybe I can foster a cat while I'm here. But mm-hmm. then sometimes I see such funny videos of like chunky chihuahuas, dude, and like, oh, <laughs> it looks so. Fun. Every at the end of the day, any dog is the best dog. I mean, yeah. it's just or cat. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, yeah. I yeah. But, but, but I, mean, I also, even, but I yeah. also understand. I had a friend. My best friend growing up was terrified of dogs. Um, because he That's had a so dog sad. bite him, and then, uh, but then they eventually got a dog when he was a little bit older, and he like, you know, eventually, you, it's not a matter of liking dogs or cats in general. You eventually find you get yeah. a dog, and you love that. Yeah, dog. it's why people and have I, their yes. breeds that they're yeah. like, oh, Pomeran. My family only this has Pomeranians because they're the best. Yeah. I'm like, any dog would be that dog. It's that family dog. I will say, like, I've been attacked before. Like, actually, like oh, really? where I. I used to, I didn't have any friends in the first part of freshman year, just my dog, Holly. And I would, I would bring her to the dog park every day, di- every evening for hours. It was illegal dog park. It was like at a school field. And I basically was just like friends the with dogs all these did old drugs. people. Yeah. yeah, the dogs did drugs. <laughs> Shady uh, The dogs. owners <laughs> supplied the drugs. No, and I would hang out with a lot of like older people and like their, their dogs. And like one of them was a rescue. And I think I got too close while it was like, yeah, it was being be territorial over like a uh-huh. hole. And yeah. I got chomped on the chin. Mm-hmm. Oh, a little bit of blood, but not much. It was like, yeah, it wasn't they'll so just kind of they'll just kind of warning snap at you. But it's jarring, man. They're I mean, strong. Dogs, they're dogs strong. Are, dogs are predators. I mean, they're, yeah, they are. They are it, uh, it felt descendants like the same of wolves. Stun. It felt like the same stun of like getting hit in the face with a ball like that same. But yes. it's like concentrated mm-hmm. to my chin. Yeah, um, it's it's shocking. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't uh, think there's anything. Yeah, I, I fully understand. I'm like waiting for. Yeah, I'm waiting for uh, to have like 
a a place where I live where I have the space to have an animal because I'm like, mm-hmm. I think I could do it. I feel like I've been around enough dogs at this point that I could eventually do it, but I'd take some warming up. Yeah. Like, I'm you like, could, a, but, but also, I think I, I think you would like get that you could definitely go and get like an older cat that, like, yeah, just yeah. wants to do its own thing. Like, that was, like, that was my idea. It's like, like hey, man, thing. I'm gonna hang out over here. I respect you, but you Pet hang out over there. Yeah. I'll yeah. let you know occasionally. But other than yeah. that, I'm gonna go chill. Yeah. yeah, man. Sometimes I'm just like this close, man. I even had an email over like this cat is available and I was like, ah but yeah. I, I was like, I'm gonna hold off. The second the second a cat or dog entered, it no matter what, if it was a great Dane, I uh, I would be like, Oh, well, I'm keeping him now. So that's why I'm like, I just can't <laughs> I mean Great Foster. Danes. My, I, I say that, but my neighbor actually has a Great Dane, and it actually works out. I think because yeah, Great no, Danes they're don't, very. They lazy. just chill. They just want to chill. I, uh, when I used to take Django to the dog park all the time, there was this giant Great Dane that literally it was it was white with black blotches, so it literally looked like a cow. Those and ones freak me out. She, they, he was, oh, gee, he was yes. so gentle with Django. Yeah, I know, dude. They're they're they are so big. big like big, massive dogs are actually not really the main concern like they will squish you they will try and sit in your lap medium or small dogs are what will lash out usually though i feel like this is good information i've never great danes are never great danes are terrified of of everyone yeah and there are are, scooby-doo is like real like they are they're terrified of everything and they can be they they can be hyper but like i the the one i knew that apparently was just a complete couch potato it would like go to the dog park and like Django would run circles around it and like chomp at his legs and he would just kind of go like whoa just like yeah it's floppy cheeks just moving around and he would just jog for like 10 feet and that was the most exercise it would get okay we talked about dogs for a while i think this like we can only do one or two more do you want to read one jackie yeah i'm kind of bad at reading um <laughs> you nailed it you nailed no, it let me like zoom in on um let me see if i can zoom in okay i'm gonna do uh, i'll do a short one my mom my two siblings and i got mcdonald's a while back and my mom paid in cash she got 69 cents back and i laughed because i've been on the internet way too long she then <laughs> proceeded to yell at me for 20 minutes about how unholy i've become and how the internet has tainted my soul <gasps> shoot <laughs> wow whoa <laughs> oh my wait where, God. Were, where was where was this at at McDonald's. Uh, they went to McDonald's. Yelling at them in the middle of the McDonald's. The pigeons outside are like, oh, damn. How dare you know what 69 means? You are an uh, unholy child how dare, of God. How dare, you, how dare you desecrate this holy, holy building? <laughs> the golden arches are above us. And you oh dare. My God. You dare insult Ronald McDonald. Oh. <laughs> I feel oh, like people sucks. like laugh at 69 before they even actually know what it is. Oh yeah, so. it was always totally. a joke. It was always, yeah, it's it's always a joke. 69, what, oh, what is that? What do you mean? Is it? I, I'm, look, I'm not gonna lie. Even if I'm completely by myself and 69 something somehow comes up, like it's my change or or I just see it. I just see the number. There's a part of me even by myself that's just kind of like, hell yeah. <laughs> I oh. never think about Duh. it. Dope, 420 dude. I do 420 I did yeah if I get 420 69 anywhere if I see that combination uh oh it's over <laughs> it's like <laughs> done oh, oh. we're done oh, sh- oh my god oh, sick dude whenever I set like the temperature and anywhere I'm always just like <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> just like a- or when you're driving and you just hit 69 for a second and it's just like <laughs> nice <laughs> all right other I'm cars re- other cars can tell um when when you're driving at 69 miles per hour. <laughs> you just see the people honk in, in celebration. Okay, so this one's from Evan. Evan says, this girl and I had been dating for a few months in high school. We were both 17 and lived far enough apart that we would meet at a carpool and go from go out from there. After a night at the movies, we went back to the carpool and I gave her nec- a necklace as a gift. Aw. As a thank you, she kissed me. Not just a kiss, she Frenched me quick and held it for a long time. <laughs> Sick, what a way to describe dude. that. Oh, wow. She Frenched and held it. She Frenched and she held French it. She Frenched so hard. And she held it. Um, she when held we were, it. <laughs> when we were finished, I was nervous and caught off guard. She asked, what did you think of that? I knew that she what she wanted because she had made a move before and I wasn't, I wasn't not okay with it. 
I've always been a movie guy and quoted them often. Why I had the movie Airplane on my mind, I don't know. But my reply to her was, have you ever seen a grown man naked? No. What? (laughs) She sat back with an odd look on her face and said, you know, I work at a nursing home. I see grown men naked all the time. I think it was two weeks later we broke up. Oh my God. Are they both Drax the Destroyer? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. What the heck is happening? What did you think of that? uh, This sounds like two androids that were programmed to like. Oh my goodness. Date and they're not good at it. At all. I don't, don't know. Cool he, he's embarrassed for himself. Uh, uh, look, maybe maybe <gasps> I'm just being weird here. He's embarrassed for himself. I think she's weirder in this situation. She's the one who like Frenched him and was just like, what did you think of that? So, well, what, what, did, you think, you? what did you know. think of that French that I just held? I'm sure, I'm sure both, when, you, you, both, when you're un, when you're uncomfortable, you like quote or like do something funny or wit, what you think is witty to like make yourself feel better in the situation. But I don't like, dude, unless you guys were talking about the movie Airplane or like knew every quote to the movie, don't say that. Like what the yeah. heck? But I would, I can see myself being in that situation. I can totally be that dumbass. That's like, I don't know how to react. So I'm going to quote a very obscure movie line. <laughs> like, how was that? And you quote Anchorman, milk was a bad choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. gosh. Just, I always, have you ever, you've heard those stories of like, when people make out and then they've like, there's like someone had a peanut allergy. That's no, like my night. I've never heard of this. You've oh never heard God. of that? Oh, like, but then now I've got the visual. Oh. Milk made me think of that when you said that, like, um, cause I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> oh my God. But I mean, it wouldn't have the same effect, but yeah. If you had, oh if someone God. has like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and then the person you're making out with has a peanut allergy, fireworks, I, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I heard stories about like a guy, he he had shook hands with a man who had eaten a peanut butter sandwich and then he went home and hugged his daughter and she had like red hand marks on her back. Like wow. that sensitive. You'd, man, if you kiss someone and they just started to puff up, you'd be like, wow, I'm really good at kissing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> These <God>. lips. <laughs> I'm, I'm dying. Oh my God, am I that good at kissing that wow. you're dying? <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, it's all yeah. It's boxed in red. Uh, Jackie, do you want to read it, or do you want Shane? Do you want Shane to read it? Uh, Jackie, I say you take it away. This all is, right, I I'm think this is our last, it, our last one. All right. My name is Jacob. After I graduated <laughs> high school, I went to a community college in Flint, Michigan. So, like normal, I had to drive there and park in a parking structure. After walking up the stairs, crossing the bridge, I saw a girl about my age look at me really angrily. She runs up to the. She runs up to me, punches me in the balls, what? And yells, this is what you get for dumping me. Twist of the story, I'm not her ex-boyfriend. I've never met this girl in my life. After realizing that was such such a shoot, dude. Yeah. She didn't know what to say. I was on the ground and she just yelled, I'm sorry, and ran away. And I have never seen her again. Oh my God. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> that's a shoot dude for her. Like yeah. that, that's I'm, like that's the wait. She she thought up. he was her ex. But yeah. but to but to walk uh, to run up to him and punch him in the balls and then realize it's not your ex. Yeah. <sighs> like how, wait, your I balls felt looks. different this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like how it was punching his balls that made her realize. Wait. Yeah. Hold on, <laughs> looks at her hand. Oh my God, that wasn't you. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, my ex's bulge was way larger than you. And you're just like, shoot, dude. <laughs> you're on the ground writhing in pain like, Whoa. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> He's just like in pain. I'm like, wow, and you're roasting me? Okay, thank she you. Must have been what really, is this? She must have been really seeing red to like see someone and think it's her ex-boyfriend. But she's in a parking structure just looking for him? What the? Well, f- remember no? when, or maybe she <laughs> didn't expect to see him. Remember when I thought I saw my ex and I was like convinced for months, That's but like right. there's no way it was him. That's like, right. Th- I guess like- that that does, I will admit, that does kind of happen sometimes. Like if you're going through a tough breakup, that that first w- two weeks, you're kind of just like, yeah. you're they're yeah. thinking about him so much that you might see him, but it's not Yeah, them. But basically to- Jackie, what, what happened to me was I was literally like 6.30 in the morning. I was so tired about to go into a shoot. I had Django uh-huh. with me, took Django out to go pee. And then like, I just suddenly see someone on a bicycle rolling by really slowly. 
And Ooh. I was like, oh, I thought immediately I saw them and I was like, oh, my God, that's my ex. Like the, their, the way their demeanor was on the bicycle. And, and then as they rolled right past me, literally like six feet away from me, I stared them dead in the face. And I was like, that's my ex. What the hell? And he like looked at me and then he kept riding and then like waved as he left. And I was like, that was my ex. That was my ex. But my ex lives like hours and hours away. So there's no way at six in the morning, right when I was outside letting my dog relieve themselves, like, yeah. That it was yeah. th- like no, but it looked like my brain was like that was that them. has to be that person. But like, uh, yeah. So, uh, well, sorry, I totally cut you off, Shane. But that was that was what happened to me, and like, I to this day am like still I look in my brain and like that <laughs> that face you just is see there. That <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy though. But but for her to go and punch him in the balls. Yeah. Yeah, dude. But you also for him so to let, for him to let her. Get that close and then punch him in the balls is also yeah. suspect. That's true. I feel like guys have like, if you've ever tried to punch a guy <laughs> in the balls, they're always just like, Whoo! like they're just like, <laughs> they know to protect. It's just this natural, it's like, no. Never seen like faster reflexes than when a guy's like trying to protect his good. His jewels. So, oh yeah. yeah. He was yeah. just too slow. I, I've had some successful shots in my day. I've accidentally hit you sometimes, Shane. We're all like, I don't think I ever got or... like, yeah, but it never, never like fully I never square. socked you in the, yeah. Never like, and it, yeah, they're, they're, you know. Yeah, I remember one time, I never ever tried to sock somebody in the crotch before, except for once in middle school and I hit this kid, cause he was being mean. He called me ugly at the park mm-hmm. and it was like seventh or eighth grade and I punched him there and he's like, ha, you missed. And I'm like, how the f- do I miss? I hit there. Depends, man. So, you know, sometimes. Sometimes their, you know, the rearrangement can uh, can be deceiving. The tuck. Yeah, exactly. Or you know, it's just it just it's you know, you never Do you know. Sometimes just put them in a, a scrunchie. Sure, <laughs> sure. I feel like that'd be setting you up for worse pain, but sure, we'll go with that. That was really fun, uh, Jackie. How do you feel about your first smash cast? I feel good. You guys are so easy to talk to. So <laughs> <laughs> just hanging with my friends. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Wait, really quick. Did you paint those on your wall? The painting canvases? No, I did not. They're actually uh, from Target. And if you watch Love Is Blind, they're actually in Love Is Blind. And oh, really? When, yeah. When they open the. Uh, when they're like meeting each other for the first time in that hallway, look in, the back, in the hallway, you can where they have like all the set dressing. You can see those, paint. <laughs> and I'm just like, it's that's, fine. Pretty that's, that's pretty great. That's pretty great. And I was, I like, love oh, that. What? <laughs> Dude, my my art is super basic too. My my stuff's all from like some website, and like I've seen them in other YouTubers' homes. Yeah, you're just stuff. gonna I'm see like, it all okay, over the place. Yeah, I'm basic. Yeah, whatever I'm makes basic. you happy, though. So yeah, that was a good episode, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I, I believe so. <laughs> I believe so. Felt good. Felt uh, those good. are some really funny shoot dudes. Uh, and for those listening or watching, if you want to submit an embarrassing story that makes us laugh or is just like crazy, like if if it's you know basically just like the ones that we we've, we've read today, a lighthearted embarrassing yeah, story. Yeah, don't don't expose uh, yourself of your like actual. Like, like if you kill something, like we don't want to know about your cr- actual crime. Let's yeah. let's try to avoid crime. severe trauma. Yeah, uh, let's not trigger don't people. Tell tell that shoot dude to a therapist. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, tell that know, one for for funny, embarrassing stuff. Like stuff like walking in on someone in the bathroom. That's a shoot dude in the yeah. dark uh, as they're vampire in pooping. Vampire pooping. Yeah, yeah. V- finding yeah. a vampire pooping is definitely a shoot dude. Oh yes. my gosh! And yeah, you can send those to our our shoot dude email, which is shoot dude at smosh dot com. It's s h o o T D O O D shoot dude at smosh.com. And yeah, we have our merch available. We got these new flow, the floral hoodie and the tan pizza place hoodie. I love these so much. They're very comfortable. And we always got that tie dye one in stock. I'm pretty sure. Um, it's always a win. And if you guys want to rate us on iTunes, uh, or your listening apps, that would be awesome. We, we love doing the smosh cast. We love talking, hanging out and, and you guys watching and being, joining us along for this good old happy boy time. And then Jackie, do you want to like plug anything? Like you're yeah. like, what's your oh handle? Gosh. Where, where oh people God. can follow you? Where can people find me? You can find me on Instagram at oh. blackjack76. Uh, hey. I misspell it for you. B-L-K. Oh, let me spell it again. <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, let me do it again. Let me, let me uh, take two. <laughs> <laughs> 
You can find me on Instagram at BLKJACK76. Hey, nice. Awesome. So yeah, we our, our audio episodes come out on Wednesdays and the full video episodes come out on our Smoshcast YouTube channel on Fridays. So subscribe or, you know, get, get at us. We love it. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.